ट्रांसफर ऑफ डीएनए विद इन बैक्टीरियल सेल्स द ट्रांसफर ऑफ डीएनए कैन अकर आइदर विद इन बैक्टीरियल सेल और ट्रांसफर ऑफ डीएनए कैन आल्सो अकर बिटवीन द बैक्टीरियल सेल्स दैट इज फ्रॉम वन बैक्टीरिया टू अनादर दैट इज बिटवीन विद इन बैक्टीरियल सेल्स मीन दैट विद इन वन बैक्टीरिया डीएनए कैन बी ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम वन साइड ऑफ क्रोमोजोम टू अनादर फॉर एग्जाम्पल एंड दिस ट्रांसफर ऑफ डी एन ए इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दिस विल प्ले अ रोल इन गिविंग इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज टू बैक्टीरिया फॉर एग्जाम्पल एंटीबायोटिक रेजिस्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज इज बिकॉज ऑफ दिस ट्रांसफर ऑफ डी एन ए नाउ द फर्स्ट थिंग इज ट्रांसपोजोन्स वट आर ट्रांसपोजोन्स दीज आर स्मॉल पीसीज ऑफ डी एन ए दैट रेडिली मूव फ्राम वन साइड ऑफ द बैक्टीरियल क्रोमोजोम टू एन अदर यू कैन सी here we have transposon and it's a small piece of dna it will move to the opposite side of the chromosome you can see and to the another side of the chromosome disrupting the host gene and this transposon which is a small piece of dna which is transferred from one side to another carries important properties it carries antibiotic resistant genes and this is one of the mechanism of transfer of dna within bacterial cells programmed rearrangements now this is another mechanism of transfer of gene within the bacteria within one bacteria actually in this process what have happens is movement of genes from an inactive site to the active site occur genes move from inactive site to the active site active site means it is a site where transcription and translation occur that is protein synthesis occur at this active site to better understand we can see here Uh, we have uh, expression locus and this expression locus you can see it represented by one will synthesize messenger rna and messenger rna this process is transcription and then messenger rna form proteins this process is translation now what happens in program rearrangement the inactive site is represented by 2 3 4 you can see from the to represent the inactive site so program rearrangement will cause the movement of genes from this inactive site which is to that is a copy of gene will be made and this will be transferred to the expression locus expression locus is the active site now this is where again the same process will occur transcription and translation so this is how the transfer of gene has occurred from inactive site to to the active site where transcription and translation occur so this is basically program rearrangement which involve the movement of genes and it helps giving bacteria properties to acquire new protein synthesis of new protein for example this is a process whereby nigeria gonorrhea an important bacteria acquires different antigenic properties and this may help it evade the immune system it helps it to overcome the immune system giving different antigenic properties transfer of dna between bacterial cells now transfer of dna from one bacteria to another can occur by multiple processes one of the process is conjugation in conjugation the transfer of gene from a bacterium known as donor bacterium to a recipient bacterium occur and this process is has importance of giving antibiotic resistance property to the recipient bacteria so you can see here in the graph this is pilus which will mediate the attachment of one bacterium to another and this pilus is made by the donor bacterium has a special fertility plasmid you can see this is plasmid and uh, this is chromosome represented by red and this is the donor bacterium and this is the recipient bacterium so what happens the pilus will mediate the transfer as a copy of gene will be made and this will be transferred by means of pilus from one bacterium to another has shown here so this is how transfer of gene occur from one bacteria to another by means of a process conjugation transduction it is a process by which dna is transferred from one bacteria to another by means of a virus so a virus for example bacteriophage is a virus that will transfer dna from one bacteria to another and the dna which is incorporated into the recipient bacteria will transform the recipient bacteria so that it may encode special proteins for example exotoxin and this process is called lysogenic conversion by which the transformed 
DNA into the bacterial DNA will cause it to have new properties to encode some special proteins like exotoxins and this will make the bacteria more pathogenic because these exotoxins are responsible for its pathogenic features. Now in the figure you can see we have phage virus and this is its phage DNA mean viral DNA. Here we have bacterial DNA and uh, here you can see phage DNA is replicating in the second step and uh, you can see fragmented bacterial DNA. Now the phage will multiply you can see the new population of phage virus and uh, this phage or virus uh, will have the DNA of its own and it may also have some DNA of the bacteria and those having bacterial DNA are then going to have infect the bacterium you can see the phage infects the new bacterium and the phage has the bacterial DNA from the previous bacteria and uh, this DNA will then be incorporated into the bacterial DNA you can see the transduced DNA into the bacterial DNA and this transduced DNA which becomes a part of the bacterial DNA will encode some special proteins for example exotoxins and this will make the bacteria more pathogenic so this is the process of transduction how a virus transfer a bacterial DNA and then it incorporates into the bacterial DNA and transforming those bacterial DNA and hence giving it special properties which makes them more pathogenic transformation a dying bacteria or in the lab we can transfer the DNA from into the recipient bacteria so the recipient bacteria may take up the DNA from the dying bacteria or in the lab we can transfer the DNA into the bacteria and these recipient bacteria will be transformed and this process is very beneficial because this process can transform some bacteria into more pathogenic category for example encapsulated bacteria may transfer its DNA into the non-encapsulated bacteria and non-encapsulated bacteria which may take up the DNA from the encapsulated bacteria may have the properties of those encapsulated bacteria and these non-encapsulated which do not have capsule will be transformed into capsulated after taking the DNA so this gives bacteria more pathogenic properties and uh, here in the figure you can also see we have uh, this is DNA and uh, that's the recipient bacteria now in the second step you can see the recipient bacteria will take up the DNA and uh, finally we can see that the DNA taken up by the recipient bacteria will become either a part of chromosome or it may become a part of the plasmid which is the extra chromosomal DNA present in some bacteria and uh, so this is how a DNA incorporated into the recipient bacteria will then give special properties to those bacteria for example as we mentioned that in encapsulated pneumonia may transform the non-encapsulated bacteria will have the capsule after taking DNA from the capsulated bacteria so that's the process of transformation